I don't see Mr. Abelheim. Well, we tried. I may know a thing or two about that splendid fellow you're talking about. What's this? Are you trying to blow the gaff? What? Sergeant Abelheim, at your service. I presume you're the Fry Twins Green mentioned. I was expecting you to be a policeman. I was expecting you to be discreet. Henry Green said that you could help us go unnoticed. This is how it will work. I will give you the names of criminal gang members. You will bring them back to me. Quietly. Oh, we'll be as quiet as an old lady. A very hairy, strange old lady that looks a lot like a policeman. Glad to see him behind bars. Thank you. Ah, there you are. All that stands between you and Whitechapel is the villain controlling the borough. Kaylock has demanded you settle the claim for territory in a gang fight. His loss? Yeah. I'm sure you can put this to better use than I can. Oh, what's this, Greeny? Assassin Christmas. <laughs> Gather your allies. Mr. Rexford Kaylock has agreed to your terms and waits for you at the Whitechapel train station. He's bet his train on the fight. No Kaylock. Hmm. No matter. Attack!
appears to be broken. Oh well, at least we have a train now. It's not all bad. Kaloth is dead. Whitechapel is no longer in the hands of the blighters. You now have the chance to join our ranks. We welcome all who would stand up to Steric and his cutthroats. I'd rather throw myself to the tracks than run Bertha another mile for that doughty bow bag. Kaylock? <laughs> He's left the station. Mel, hello, fancy pants. And who might you I'm Evie be? Fry, and this is my brother, Jacob Fry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBean. A delight. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. Come work for us instead. <laughs> I ain't bail your heat. You pay better than scraps? Oh, I'm sure we can at least match that. Then may I present to you Agnes and Bertha, lady and locomotive, at your service. I'll be in the next car. A hideout on the rails? What an excellent idea. Yes, it all worked out rather well. Now, I would like to follow up a lead on... Jacob? This is serious? I'm not doing anything until this gets fixed. I believe I know someone who can help with that. I knew you would, Greeny. Them. Alec, whatever is the matter? I have been intercepting nothing but poppycock propaganda about soothing syrup and whatnot. No, I swear to high heavens, if Staric's monopoly continues... Alec, I beg your pardon. These are friends of mine. Evie Fry and her brother, Jacob. Oh, oh um... Alexander Graham Bell. Linguist, inventor and technical expert. Alec, I have something of a favor to ask you. Can you fix this? Oh, looks like the casing is cracked. Oh, comes apart. <laughs> I see. Could have used one of these to fit my fuses on top of Big Ben. Alec is installing a new telegraph line for our Free Press Association. To combat the Staric Telegraph Company. Now, if I can mend the fuses connecting independent lines from Big Ben, Staric will be weakened. Only, we are somewhat at a handicap. And, there. Yeah. Oh, I've removed the mechanism, so it may work with your bracer. I'll put it to use immediately. Jacob, wait. Mr. Bell, allow me to help you with your fuses. Oh, you will not find me too proud to accept Miss Fry. Oh, uh, we can use my carriage if you'd be so good as to hold the reins, though. I'll take that. Um, I, I can help you. I am so glad you could assist me. You really ought to be here by now. That's it. So, Mr. Bell, what inventions are you concocting? I intend to develop a phonetic telegraph that does not just in which of... To be found on top of Big Ben. Correct. Especially as one needs a special government pass to get through the guards. They will not be a problem. I'll repair the fuses. <laughs>
lovely view. Should do it. Thank you very much, Miss Fry. I will now be able to continue with the installation of the new line. If there's anything else I can do to help... Uh, certainly. Please do come and visit. Oh, uh, I was toying with this device... ...and have noted down the formula for you. It, it's not perfect yet, but by golly, it works. Miss Fry, uh, I was just showing Jacob the first message was received via the mended lines. Oh, uh, you can keep the rope launcher, by the way. Um, we've managed to procure another one for your brother. Excellent work. Thank you, again. You're very welcome, Mr. Bell. We can now defend the principle of impartial news and free speech. Free is fair, but free and brief is far better. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, Fry, such caustic wit. <laughs> And on that note, we must depart. <laughs> oh, uh, good fortune to you both. Uh, call on me, uh, any time. <laughs> <laughs> 